Hey, what's up guys? In today's video, we are going to look at this wireless bridge that is sent by Luigi. This is RG EST 310 V2 5 GHz wireless bridge. So what is a wireless bridge and why do you care? Why do you need to know? So imagine this concept. You have side A and side B. Okay, maybe side A is your home, side B is another building that's further away from your house. Then you want to connect both of them. Probably you want to send an internet there or maybe connect to a CCTV or another device that you want to connect to your house. Now the distance of this is maybe 500 meters to one kilometer, right? And using a cable would not be recommended. So with the use of this wireless bridge, you can basically connect both sites. Now this wireless bridge have their own limits. This model that they sent to me is up to one kilometer distance. Now they have other models like it goes up to five kilometer distance, but what I have here is up to one kilometer. Well, basically you have seen me do this one with other brands like the Ubiquiti in my YouTube channel. So the concept is the same, it's just we are going to use a different brand and try to see if it really works well, all right? So hop in and I'm going to show it to you. So let's just take a quick look here. This wireless bridge comes in pairs and it is five gigahertz. At the same time, this can be used to point to multipoint, so one to many or point to point, okay? So in our case, we are going to do point to point because they are by pair. And this is also POE, all right? And cloud manage. So let's just go ahead and open this one. Then if you try to see, as I have said, they come in pairs. So the other one is for side A, the other one is for side B. We have straps. We have the power adapters or power injectors because that's PoE and it says LAN. At the same time, we have this one as well. Then of course, we have the power cables, mounting of these uh, devices. You can use it and the screws, that's it. So they also sent me two switches. We have the RGES 105D which is unmanaged, okay? So this is a megabit switch. You cannot manage this one. And then we have another one, which is five port gigabit cloud managed. So you can configure this one and it's PoE switch. So RGES205GC-P. So we can use this one to power on the uh, devices, all right? So uh, it's the same. I have it here. Uh, it's just another day, just another switch, but as small as this one, uh, you'll see it in action once we plug the devices and of course the power adapter. And uh, this also, uh, as small as this, we have the power adapter and we have the switch. Oh, that's small, very good, all right? Okay, so first up here, guys, I wanna show you how I connected this one. So this is the first wireless bridge, right? And this is connected to the one of the switch here, right here. And uh, this is the second uh, wireless bridge that I have here, and it's connected to the switch. Now, what we're trying to see here is, uh, imagine that this is side A and this is side B, right? And we are going to connect them both. Okay, so first up I'm going to do is connect to this one. And this switch is basically connected to my computer there so that we can configure this wireless bridge here. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the computer and show you. So here on our computer guys, I just wanna go to the ethernet adapter. I'm connected via Wi-Fi, but we don't need that one actually. So you can see it here, ethernet to no et internet. And then I have this device here. So I'll just go ahead and double click this. Then as you can see here, IP assignment is DHCP. I'm going to edit this one and I go for manual. Then check the IP version four because that's the IP address. So the, the IP range of this one is 10.44.77.anything. So 10.44.77.10, that will be my IP address. The subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. And then for the gateway and DNS, we can just leave it for now as blank. And then we can come back later on, configure it if we really need to. So uh, I just want to log into that uh, CPE there or the wireless bridge so we can see. Um, I'm going to save that, close this one. And then the default pass, uh, the default um, uh, IP address of the CPE is 10.44.77.254. Um, 
So basically, HTTP. And then it's going to ask us for the password. So this is the dashboard actually. And as you can see here, uh, the very first thing, this is my very first time to be here on this dashboard, all right? So though I've been using this one for, um, I've been doing this kind of scenario for other brands. So I basically have an idea of how it really works. And as you can see here, um, Ruigi Local, this is basically, I bet you this is where I'm connected because um, it says local. So that's where I'm connected and it says online. So by default, the pair is connected already. As you can see it here, they are connected, right? So you can see um, online, they are connected together already. Since I'm connected there, I want to go to the uh, computer. Uh, I'm, I'm going to plug a device there uh, so that we can check. Now you try to see it is named as in VRAP and this is a uh, camera CPE. So basically this is the main uh, site and then it's going to broadcast to the other side, right? Um, but I bet I, I do not have a camera because the scenario of this is basically for camera. But if you can transfer, you can bridge data between this Ruigi, this can be used to transfer data from one point to the other point. So basically if I plug in my internet to one of the device, it should come out to the other end, right? So that's what I'm going to do so that we can test this one. Okay, so basically I'm going to get a laptop and plug it here. I'll give you a quick tour here. Uh, this is the switch of Ruigi, right? This is basically the uplink, which is basically coming from my router out there. So as you can see there, that's the uplink coming here, right? It goes here and then goes inside this Ruigi wireless bridge. Okay, now try to see here, there is a, uh, there's no wires that's connecting both, okay? So the concept here is, this Ruigi wireless bridge site A is going to connect to this site B. From this, it's connected to the switch, okay? And from the switch, it's connected to my laptop, all right? So as you can see here, this is my um, switch here. This is the Ruigi unmanageable switch. The yellow cable is going at the back of the laptop at the Ethernet port right there, okay? So why did I connect a laptop? Because we are not using any camera here. And the best way for us to check if they are already working is to do a speed test. If we have that connection already, it means to say that internet is flowing through this laptop. That means to say, because you can see I have already internet right now, that the wireless bridge is perfectly working. Well, for the sake of this video, we are going to forego the speed test so that you can see. That, let's wait. All right. So that means to say that both of these are basically working. Now imagine if the distance of this is like one kilometer away, all right? So let's jump into my laptop and try to see what else we can do there. So coming back here, you can see how easy this one is. I, I was basically thinking we need to configure something, but no, it's out of the box. It's connected together. So you just go ahead and plug this one and use it. The concept of this one getting two devices in one package is very good because they are already connected together. All you need to do is go ahead and put this one at one end to the other end and you can connect already. Okay, so see you guys. That's it for this video. Um, see you on my next video.